Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? Robin here and welcome to my REIT, R-E-I-T, Real Estate Investing Case Study, where every single week we put money into a REIT portfolio and build it up completely from scratch. This is week number four of the portfolio, so we slowly are kind of starting to build it up. Um, this is a portfolio where we're investing 100% into real estate-based stocks and different funds and whatnot, just to see um, how how much we can grow the portfolio as opposed to doing your traditional type of investing as in buying a big property or something like that. I update this case study once a week as well as my dividend investing case study. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put links to both of them um, in the description of this video. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can see when I do these videos. All right, so that's enough talking for now, guys. Let's jump into the portfolio and let's see how things are doing for this week. All right, guys, what's up? How's it going? Robin here, and we're back into our uh, REIT portfolio here on Wealth Simple Trade. If you guys aren't already signed up for Wealth Simple Trade, I'll put a link in the description of this video. If you guys sign up, you'll get $5 for free if you use my referral link, and I'll get five bucks as well. Um, here's our portfolio here. We have a personal balance of $245. Now, my transfer that I put in for $100 hasn't gone through yet, so technically that'll be like $345. So just add an extra $100 onto there once that transfer goes through over the next couple days. Um, but here's our portfolio. We are down $54, 24% all time. Uh, pretty nasty hit here. And the funny thing is, like, this is a portfolio that's based out of 100% real estate in Canada. So you can see that. You know, uh, just to give you guys some food for thought, if you're watching this um, video in the future, in a frame of reference, it's March 13th. Uh, yeah, it's March 13th right now. And the, the whole coronavirus kind of thing is causing all the stocks to go crazy. So everything is down right now. Um, even my main portfolio is down like 20% on Wealth Simple. Like everything's just going down right now. So, um, you know, just kind of stick with it, guys. Um, perfect time to be buying. So just keep, you know, keep buying, but don't go too crazy. You know, you don't kind of over leverage yourself because we don't know. Things could go down even more or they could be down for a long period of time. So just kind of prepare for that and uh, invest accordingly. Uh, but here's our portfolio. You can see <clears throat> even our real estate stocks took a nasty hit. Um, our portfolio is based 100% out of Canadian real estate. Uh, so we have VRE here, which is our Vanguard one. We have XRE and then we have ZRE. Um, so these are the three ETFs that we have for this portfolio. And today we'll be buying um, one more ETF we're going to be adding. And we're also going to max out our dollars that we have here. So we have $21 here with $100 pending. Now the $100 we can't spend right now. we got to wait for it to pen. So basically wait for the transfer to go through and the pending to cancel. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys the ETF I'm going to buy today. And then tomorrow once it goes through, I'll just go in my account and buy it on my own kind of thing. But first of all, we're going to use some of the money we have in our account to just kind of balance our portfolio. Uh, so XRE is our cheapest fund for $16 Canadian. Um, we're going to buy one share of that and that'll help use up some of that money that we have sitting in our account. Uh, so we'll buy one share of XRE, plus it's really cheap right now, why not? Uh, so we'll buy one share of that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check our dividends and see what we got for dividends for this week after that order goes through. So that order's gone through and then if we go to activity, and then we're going to go to filter and we're going to filter our personal account, which is this real estate portfolio. And then we're going to go with dividends. So that'll kind of filter that out. And you can see here that we made our first dividend in March 9th. Um, so this is week four. So at the end of week four, so almost at the end of one month, we got our first dividend of 18 cents in this portfolio from ZRE. And at the end of this month, I think most of our other ETFs should start to pay through too as well. So um, over the next, I'd say, couple weeks, we should we should slowly start getting more dividends into this portfolio. Um, so um, yeah, we're just slowly building it out, guys. And you can see here that you don't need a lot of money to get invested with real estate, which is why I like doing this kind of stuff, which is why I like uh, real estate funds and stuff like that. Because as you guys can see, we only invested about $400 and we're already earning income from real estate as if we were owning a property, right? So it's a cool way to get started with real estate if you don't have a lot of cash or you don't want to like over leverage yourself by buying like a really expensive real estate property, especially if you live where I am in Canada, where real estate is really going up in price. Um, so this is why we're choosing to invest this way instead. So the actual fund we're going to be buying today is the Let's look it up here. I actually found this cool little article on dividendearner.com. So if you guys are interested in Canadian REITs, check this uh, webpage out because, and I'll link to it in the, in the description of this video. It actually goes over a lot of the popular ones in Canada here. So you can see here that these are the main real tape, uh, uh, REIT ETFs. Uh, it's, a, it's hard to say that. Um, and, and keep in mind that this these REITs are ETFs. So we're not buying like individual, you know, um, uh, real estate managed companies. We're buying like a bunch of them together. 
um, and one because I do I do think ETFs are a good way to base the base of the portfolio. So I think we're gonna pick up about four to get started. We got three right now, so this last one might be the last one I buy for a little while, and then we'll just keep putting money into the into these ETFs, and maybe we'll buy like the odd uh, REIT here and there kind of thing. I don't know, but uh, there's some nice ones here. So they have ZRE. P H R R E I T X R E Z R E and C J R. You can see we already got a couple of these. Today we're going to be buying R E I T because this one looked pretty interesting and pretty promising. And we can also see the allocation here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys just in case you guys can see. So you can see R I T is actually industrial and office and residential. So this is the most residential based um, ETF out of all these ones. But you can see they're all pretty diversified for the most part. Like they got a little bit of everything. Um, so it is, you know, like it's all, over, it's all over the place, which is good, you know, nice diversification and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. So let's look at this fund here. Um, it is right now $17 Canadian, which is again, pretty cheap. And that's the thing I like about these, um, real estate funds is they're really cheap. They're really easy to get into and you can start buying them and you can start getting those dividends going. Um, so this one over the course of year to date is sitting at, let's see here, year to date we're sitting at 1.5%. So if you actually bought this um, REIT at the start of the year, you actually wouldn't be at a loss. You'd still be up 1% to 2% because they, they did get a bit of a rise at the start of the year. And just for reference, let's see if we can find last year. Last year this one looks like it went up about 12% and then 14% two years. Three years, 11%, 14, uh, four years, 14%. So you can see pretty solid returns. And, si and since the inception date, so basically the average that this ETF has performed every single year since it was started in 2004 was 11.17%. So pretty solid fun, guys. And you can see here that if you invested $10,000, uh, it just pretty much, other than the little crash, the housing crash that happened and the stock crash happened in 2018, um, it's just been on the way up pretty much for the most part. So um, yeah, I think I think real estate for the most part, it's hard to say because everything is going down right now. It's hard to say what's going to go on in the future right now. It's a big question mark, but I think these funds are still going to do pretty solid. And I do want to start to build up that um, dividend income. So just in case if going in the next couple of years, um, stocks are down um, and they don't recover anytime soon, at least we're making money kind of thing. And I'm happy with that. So just in case kind of thing. So that's why I'm doing the dividend investing and the RIT investing portfolios. And you can see once again, here's the actual share of the sectors. <clears throat> once again, pretty pretty, um, pretty diversified, but mostly residential for this one. Um, so that's pretty solid fun and I really like it. And we're gonna go over, check out the dividends. So let's go into REIT dividends so that we can actually see the distributions. And I do believe it is a monthly dividend, which is what we're looking for in this portfolio. Once again, because we're wanting to mimic as if we actually own these properties and we were renting them out kind of deal. Right, like kind of like a landlord kind of thing, but without doing all the hassle of being a landlord. And you can see here that uh, it looks like it is a monthly uh, dividend date here. I think this is the right one. Maybe this isn't the right one. REIT, REIT uh, dividend. There we go. There we go. I think this is the right one. This is what page will load? We can actually see what the dividends are per month. It's hard to find some of the information for some of these ones because they're not as um, Looks like that one's not going. Let's check out the actual website and see if the website actually shows us some stuff. Distributions. Okay, so we can see actually distributions here um, for each year on this actual graph. Um, and, and it is monthly. Uh, distribu distribution is monthly. So that that's pretty cool. Um, and dividend yield, I think, was like about 5% or something like that. If we can see that in here somewhere. Uh, I think on the last page it said dividend yield. Dividend channel, let's check out that one. That would actually have the information on there. Yes, here we go. So we can actually see the actual dividends. It's five cents per share and it is paid out monthly. And it is a dividend yield of 4.46%. So almost 5%. That's pretty high dividend yield stock uh, or RIT, whatever you want to call it kind of thing. And, and that's kind of what we want. We want um, real estate that's going to pay us like a lot on a regular basis. So yeah, five cents every single month per share. So if you buy... Um, if we buy about a uh, price for $14, you'll get five cents per every four, $13 a month you invest. So that's pretty solid. 
and we're going to be adding that art to our portfolio here that we have on Wealth Simple Trade. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any, any questions about this portfolio or my dividend investing case study, let me know. Um, I'm here to help you guys out. I'm still learning a lot of this stuff, and I am pretty new to real estate investing and whatnot. Um, so bear with me, guys. If you know, if you guys notice anything, I, you know, you want to mention something, feel free to mention. And once again, guys, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So that's it for this video, guys. I just want to do a quick little wrap up and let you guys know what I'm doing in terms of this portfolio. So we're going to be buying uh, once again. That is the CIT, I think is what it's called. Let's me let me just CI. REIT, sorry, REIT uh, ETF. It's got kind of a weird name, but let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, and I'll see you guys later.